pretty excited to get to this stage. The guys are getting the boat ready to roll out for launching today. So a huge milestone for the guys. It's a big effort to get the boat built and then it's been a massive effort from the fit out team here at the VEC just getting all these powertrain components in and, and all the respective bits of hardware. I don't think we realise how significant it is. I think there's almost no other boats like this around. You know, the next boats like this are still a long way away. So I think once it's in the water and running, we'll realise just how, how important it is on the world stage. Okay. I named this boat Chase Zero. Bless her and all who sail and her. Hey. It was only what, not even six months ago that we really started building the thing, and we're not traditionally a hydrogen or even propulsion boat team. The amount that we've learnt and the advances that we've had in technology through the team and as a whole in the whole marine industry is, is something pretty cool. To get it finally in the water is such a great feeling, you know. Certainly hydrogen is looking to be a, a pretty big part of the um, 37th America's Cup, so we've now got to just prove that everything that we've put on paper is good in reality as well. That's always a good start. Every yeah. successful boat we've had has always floated, so that's a good one. To finally see it in the water, you know, it was a really uh, quick development timeline. Um, we didn't have a lot of time, but you know, we got to use all the all the tools and techniques and things that we've developed over 10 years of four-link sailboats and so much work the guys have put into all the systems. Everything is completely new, so definitely very experimental, but apply it to this new concept and you know, we'll see if it works. This is absolutely magnificently significant because it's a world first. The crisis we're in for climate change, if we can, you know, in the next 10 years convert large numbers of motorboats to hydrogen, particularly foiling ones, uh, things are going to happen and once this thing's foiling up and down the harbour there's going to be a lot of people really interested and I can just see this changing the whole game.